you are, you are in the gallery. Hi, Nicole. This is uh, we have a ticket. Yay! <laughs> For 42-year-old Representative James Lankford of Oklahoma, one of 87 new Republican members of the House, there's still the glow of his recent victory. In addition to family members in the gallery, he was allowed to take his youngest daughter and two nephews onto the floor when he was sworn in. Do you so solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States? So, you're stuck with me on the floor. Yeah. No so Nintendo, sorry. no texting. Yeah. No Angry Birds games. He's still learning the ways of Washington. First and foremost, how to get around. You know where you're headed? No, not yet. A common ritual is to visit the Cannon Building's rotunda in order to appear on television. They're called stand-ups, but Mr. Langford was still learning that routine on Wednesday morning. Oh, oh no, I was going to have you just stand there. Oh, good. 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 September 2008 uh, had a real sense of... Um, real sense of calling. The new congressman navigated his first week without admitting too many jitters. He leaned on his Christian faith. Before running for Congress, he was director of a large Christian youth camp, but he felt a new calling. And after what he called a prayer journey, he decided to run largely on his credentials as a Washington outsider. Uh, but the reality is we're supposed to be here and we have a job to do. Job number one really for me is pulling back our spending. Yet as he roamed the halls of the Capitol to pick up his credentials and vote for the very first time, he seemed mildly starstruck. An example was when he ran into John Dingell in an elevator. The Michigan Democrat has been in Congress for 55 years. And had an opportunity to just be able to meet him, introduce myself, and to say it was great to meet him, and it is. He's been here a very long time. Amid all the excitement, the political reality was never far from mind. I'm being sworn in today. Uh, someone is watching it on the news tonight and thinking, I'm going to run against him two years from now. It was a similar dynamic all around Capitol Hill. Oh, it's pretty wild, isn't it? <laughs> a feeling of euphoria at the change brought to Washington, tempered by the reality of divided government and being near the bottom of a 435-member totem pole. Come on in here. This guy's going to take a picture right here. Once his family returns to Oklahoma, Mr. Lankford will be sleeping on his office couch during the week to save money. The years ahead are likely to be grueling, with an unsettled political climate and weekly commutes halfway across the country. Uh, we've got soldiers in the field sleeping on the dirt in Afghanistan. I don't think a couch in a congressional office is a sacrifice. On Friday, before leaving for a weekend retreat with other freshmen, he was clearly taken aback by the rancorous tone so far but he also embraced the fight ahead. Uh, there are going to be things we're going to disagree on, but there's a difference between disagreeing on policy and just disagreeing to be a pain in the neck. The debate will be on the floor, and uh, let's bring it.